say it is a point of personal <coughs> privilege that in my office we have an entirely female group. Yeah. <laughs> Whether that be through providing products for women, <laughs> or through representing women in the business place. When you invest in women and their success, you are investing in the success of the entire state. We have already seen what happens when opportunities for women are overlooked and when their resources are underfunded. Women's health centers have closed, and in turn, women's health declines. Not only has this caused increased rates of cervical and breast cancer, but New Jersey is ranked 45th in the nation in terms of maternal mortality. Among this myriad of challenges, there are obstacles that exist specifically in that workplace. I am sure every woman in this room has a story she could tell about gender discrimination. These experiences can either be explicit or implicit and can often leave us feeling very discouraged. But whether it was thriving in a financial services industry traditionally dominated by men, uh, serving others through educational institutions or nonprofits like Second Floor, or being an active member of the Climate Reality Project with former Vice President Al Gore, I've never shied away from the challenge. I've welcomed it. And I know every woman in this room has that exact same mentality. These issues that inhibit our overall success and limit our independence are issues that we are tackling head on, sometimes legislatively. However, some of the most influential changes will come from examples that we set for our daughters, sisters, and friends. As women, we must lead the way to enact the changes that we want to see. By acting as leaders and demonstrating the value of our presence in the business, we show the world the impact women can make when we are healthy and financially independent. Your roles as entrepreneurs and leaders also provide you with a unique opportunity to set the standards of the workplace for the future. Nothing that you have already accomplished nor what you are striving for now will come easily. But as strong, independent women, you have learned to meet challenges with persistence. And it is those challenges and roadblocks that make us better, stronger, and more resilient. I always tell my children, you really don't learn anything by being successful. Rather, you learn during the times that you fail and you have to pick yourselves back up. those words from someone else. You all have the will to succeed. New Jersey is lucky to have you in this room and in every room. Thank you so much for having us.